Monday, June 10th, 10.07 a.m. New York time. Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. I'm going to discuss my day trades this morning. They traded the S&P 500 futures. We're looking here on one of my templates for the radar. The four grids on top going horizontally, the S&P 500 futures, and the bottom, the U.S. dollar index. So on the top right is the daily yellow candle. Simply telling me we didn't take out the higher low the prior day. Indecision. I want to be situation aware of what was occurring on multiple time frames. And the U.S. dollar, strong. Yep. It was higher, took out the prior day's high, and took out this swing high. So again, there's a correlation. You often see the inverse on the trends between the S&P 500 and the U.S. dollar. When I labeled my four-hour charts, I knew up here, we had this impulse move down this four-hour candle, in the ES midpoint, potentially we testing being today. We had a lot of price action around this big round number, 53.50. Again, the US dollar in the four-hour was trending up higher. So on the one-hour chart, overnight, this is the London session, this purple area. We had this huge impulse move down, that red candle. My thought was, might go up and retest that today or tomorrow. So I was leaving bullish bias on my scalps, my first few trades. And as you can see right now, we have not tested the top of that. We actually made a rejection here in the red candle. And the ground number, 53.50, a lot of price action going there. And then the US dollar down here, Again, this purple area is the London session. Here's the low. We nearly tested it. Rejected it. Got it. The trading inverse from each other. And then here on the 15-minute chart, this was the Asian session, London session. The green again is the Asian session. Purple is the London session. So after the London session, the ES Trade that back up. Again, I was trading bullish into that session. First here on the dollar, eventually rolled over. So let me show you what I was looking at my setup. These top two grids, left and right, is the one-minute chart. And the bottom, five-minute chart. So on the left-hand side, that's the be on futures, and the right-hand side, U.S. dollar. So the five-minute chart, This blue vertical line, 7 a.m. And that's where I was doing my setups. Well, I was doing my setups before. But then I was looking for, sitting in my hands waiting for trades. So from 7, I was taking these bullish trades that were going up. Because again, grinding up. Then as we were getting past this blue vertical line right here, that was 8 a.m. Getting closer to the 9 a.m. We start to have this consolidation on the five minutes. Inside candles here, rejecting that one hour high here, that blue vertical line. So I was leaning more bearish bias. And as I was updating this, I labeled this as my supply zone sellers up there. I also labeled, hopefully you can see this, this white candle, five money candle, white candle just simply means open high and the open and close the same price. So I've labeled the See there's a yellow line across out of the beginning and the bottom. We were inside that range. And you'll see it here on the one minute. On the one minute again, this is the low, that white candle. That's the low of it and the high of it was here. So I was looking for the trade idea to trade short. One thought was if we break below here, take the short, but I was leaning. Wanted to see a retest up here, back here in that supply zone of sellers, and look to trade short up there. This red candle, right up there, I saw rejected a nice big wick rejection. I liked it. I liked it. So I went short right there. And of course, it went against me, it went higher a little bit, but lower highs 
or bearish bias. And then again, that low right here, that five minute low, we broke below it. That was nice. Broke below it, broke below it. 53, 53, 50, the big round number right there. I was looking for that for a target down there. It went down there and I closed my trade right there. So that was a nice profit being bearish short. Thank goodness I closed it. It went against me. Well, again, it went back up. I was already out of it for profit, but it went back up. And that's what I was expecting to happen. That just probably some fresh buyers stepping down here. Why would I want to stay and have a risk giving back my gains? So I closed it nice. Nice setup. It worked out good. You see on the five minute, it went lower, a lot lower into the nine o'clock hour. That you could say I left money on the table. So again, here's the five minute chart, went a lot lower. And back here in that big round number 5350 again. And that's simply what I like to do, my setups. And it worked out fine. That's good. In here, we see massive consolidation, but again, I'm scalping, so I'm doing this on a faster time frame, taking these trades on the one minute. Some people will use three minutes, some people will use five minutes, one minute, maybe even less than one minute. I think the majority of people from my years experience are doing anywhere from the one to five minutes. Some do again, less than one minute, some do three minutes. But again, my setup on the higher time frames, then looking for these five minutes Sweet spots, which this was a sweet spot. Occurred after the 8 a.m. So this is all before 9.30 a.m. And again, here is the U.S. dollar on the five minute. It reversed right here. Made a reverse. Went up. 8.20, 8.30. Well, let me show you here. It reversed here on the five minute. On the yes. So the correlation worked out well because this green candle was already done. I already saw this reversal on the US dollar. I just waited for the setup to occur on the trigger here for me to take the trade. So again, I took that trade here. What was it? 850, 833. Was it? Yeah. Nope, right here. Sorry. Yeah, 833. 833 took the trade here. Hey, if you want to support my channel for YouTube, it's for free. Just click the button to subscribe. If you want to get access to the video the same day and a lot more great content, I have a Patreon link. It's below. If you want to make a donation one time, I have a PayPal and Venmo. The links are below. Thank you, as always, for spending just a little bit of your time with me. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching.